Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt. We've got a body armor test today. This one's a little special. This cartridge has been in use for over a hundred years. 762 by 54R, but this one's a little different. This one's from SBR. This is some Afghan contract canceled ammo that wound up on gun broker. This is 145 grain brass solid. As you can see from that tip, we have a hardened steel penetrating rod in there. Someone was so gracious enough to donate some of these for me to check out. We cut one away so we could see what the inside looks like. We also have a 145 grain armor piercing incendiary. This one looks like a full metal jacket, so the hardened steel core, or if there's some kind of steel core, it is inside of it. So we've been asked to see what kind of body armor this could or couldn't penetrate. So I wanted to bring out the old trusty level four LA police gear body armor. These are the 10 by 12 models. We've shot quite a few of these on the channel. They are very tough, but budget friendly. If you're a first time viewer to the channel, I stick to some NIJ constants whenever possible when testing body armor so that we can have these repeatable results like the NIJ does, although I'm in my backyard, so your mileage may vary. We shoot at 45 feet and at zero degrees, that is worst case scenario. Since this is a ceramic plate, we've gone ahead and dropped it on its face two times per the NIJ standard. I also use a giant clay briefcase filled with Roma Plastilina, number one clay donated by Chavant. We have two barrel lengths afforded to us for this test, a 20 and 29 inch. I think we'll take a shot from each one of these cartridges out of the 20 inch first, and if it doesn't penetrate, then we'll step up to the 29 inch. I have a couple of these plates on hand today, and normally in our prior testing, you can get about four shots on these plates with some of the heavy hitters before they get degraded. All right, we have everything in position right where we want it to be, so we're ready to take our first shots. We have our Mosin Nagant M44 here with our 20 inch barrel. We'll take a shot of the AP first, then the API, and if at the end I have some room, I have some B32 API, very similar to M2 AP, but with an incendiary compound. I think the core shape is just a little bit different. Get these loaded in here. I'm using the lead sled because I'm not very good with iron sights. This should be on the left side of the plate if I've got everything lined up. Not sure if I got a velocity reading off that. Maybe I did. That's right about where I wanted it. Now the API, hopefully we see a nice smoke show down here of sparks. Cool. All right, so I don't have myself talking too much. There's not a whole lot to say. Here was our AP shot, and here was our API shot right where I wanted it to be. There is a foam ring on this particular model of plate, but we're with inside of that foam ring. Place those bets in the comments below. Uh-oh, Raggy. We have a penetration with the API right there, but our other round stopped cold dimple is not a whole lot there this plate is cold today so it's going to under represent what back face could be so when it's warmer out when this clay is about 85 to 90 degrees we could see a lot more of a dimple very interesting with the api i think we'll step up to the 29 inch barrel and try the ap again maybe there's just not enough of that core there to stay intact enough by the time the alumina breaks it. Since our AP threat couldn't do it from the 20 inch barrel, which in a real world scenario would give you quite a bit of standoff distance if you fired it from the full 29 inch barrel, we'll take two more shots with that and see if we get a penetration and then go from there. I did find these available for sale on denverbullets.com, so if you want to pick some up, they do have the AP and the API version available. Wow, really good velocity out of that. Cool. 
let's go see what we did. Here is our 29 inch barrel shot number one and number two. Now this one's a little close to the action over here, but it's still more than two inches apart. Now bear in mind, this is an NIJ level four or upcoming RF3 plate, and that has to stop M2 armor piercing at 2880 feet per second, which is usually not obtainable in a 1903 or M1 Grand or even a 26 inch 30-06 barrel. You have to usually hand load those, but it only has to stop one of those. So, I mean, we've stopped a pretty hefty round here. This one went through, so these ones will be interesting. This is a tile ray plate. I don't wanna bore you guys too much with details since this is more of the ammo test than armor, but this is a tile array plate. There's rectangle and square tiles that make up the strike face on this. So it kind of helps make it a little bit multi-hit. And, wow, folks, no penetration. Look at that, look at those little bumpies there, but nothing. So that particular bullet design, while it may excel at penetrating steel, the ceramic strike face is obviously harder than steel it is able to break up enough of that penetrating tip and then the brass uh, encasing behind it of the projectile that it doesn't make it through i've definitely seen a lot bigger dimples before in plates like i said if this clay was warmer we probably would see quite a bit more back face there but interesting i would have expected that ap ammo with that exposed tip to excel here is part of that core there just fell out of the thing so maybe i want to stock up on the api version i feel we have one good spot left on this plate and it wouldn't be fair if we didn't compare some of this modern technology ammunition to some of the world war ii surplus so i have some of this b32 api i'll have to see if i have a macro of the core somewhere if not i'll try to find one online so we'll take a shot from the 29 inch barrel and see what happens this will be at the top of the plate where i feel there's a good solid strike face remaining Well, I thought I shot too high, but actually I'm right on the plate. If you can see right there, let me get the gimbal to go with which way I want it to go. Me and zoom in a little more. I'll zoom out here in a second. But there is what looks like our core. I see that we're on a solid piece of ceramic. Place those bets in the comments below. Smoke another strap. Oh, I just got clay in my face. I see the bullet there and no pass through. Now that is surplus ammunition and it's going about 2670, I think was the velocity off of it. And like I said, this plate is designed for M2 armor piercing, which is right around the same weight going 2880 feet per second. And even in that 29 inch barrel, we didn't see that out of the surplus. There's a good dimple there, but this plate stopped it. Very impressive. Like I said, for the money, these LA Police Gear Level 4 plates are very good. They could use some foam drop face protectant and some better adhesion of the ceramic to the polyethylene, but can't complain about that performance. Well, everyone, this test completely surprised the crap out of me. I was fully expecting our exposed steel tip version of this AP round to penetrate our level four, especially out of the 29 inch barrel. Now, before performing this test, I had no expectations of that API round penetrating, so much so that I didn't section one and grab any macros of the core. So you'll see pictures of that at the beginning of this video because I've saved one. So when I get home tonight, I can carefully cut one apart and get the core out so we can take some cool macros of it. But that surprised the heck out of me, especially from the 20 inch barrel. To steal a line from Jurassic Park, life will find a way. 
I did order some more of that API ammunition from Denver Bullets. Their web store is back online. They should be pretty easy to Google if you want to pick some of this up yourself before everybody else buys it. I always release these results to my Patreon supporters beforehand, so they may have bought it before you get your dirty, stinking hands on it. But if you'd like to see me test this against another level four plate, maybe out of the 29 inch barrel, we find a more robust level four plate, let me know in the comments below. There's also silicon carbide and boron carbide materials that are used in body armor that could show different results. So it's never safe to make an assumption that just because it penetrated on this plate right here, that it's gonna do well against all level fours, but seeing how that API penetrated from the 20 inch barrel, the 29 inch barrel is gonna be really hard to stop. Well, it's about time for me to get the heck out of here. I gotta go pick my kid up from school today and go pick up a new toy from the FFL. At the close of all my videos, I take a moment to thank all those who helped make these possible. Number one is my Patreon supporters. Number two is a couple of my fellow followers who donated that ammunition for us to test. Number three is Denver Bullets for bringing their web store back online for me to buy some extra. And of course, number four this time is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.